EA Sports are definitely having a difficult time right now and the community is not reacting well. Everything that has gone on with the servers and everything like that. I'm currently making this video on Monday the 6th of May and whilst I was watching it actually, the Manchester City and Leicester game, something was going on over on Twitter and it was actually quite a big argument in my opinion between Nepenthes and Kurt and basically how this all started was by Nepenthes and before we get into that actually I want to mention this is the whole community we are all kind of against EA Sports we want something to change within EA Sports but we're kind of fighting each other right now what we can see with this situation with Nepenthes and Kurt what the situation is it's YouTubers so that would be people like MyHD Gamer, Nepenthes, Castro everyone like that against pro players so the likes of f 2 Tex, Kurt and loads of other players so of course it's kind of an argument what each of them should do and how they should make themselves responsible and how they can kind of start this change so I'm gonna go into the tweets but before we get into that if you are new here make sure you do subscribe we are aiming for 22,000 subscribers and I'm also going to be making around two videos a day so you definitely don't miss them so I didn't really understand this situation too much but I actually messaged Harper hype and he actually helped me so much with this most of the stuff that I'm gonna say now is all from him absolutely amazing guy spent at least 20 minutes of course explaining this all to me thank you to him definitely go and check him out over on twitter drop him a follow link will be in the description but basically of course kurt and nep both want a change but in my opinion kurt is doing it in the wrong way just to summarize quickly three ways to change or fix fifa is of course changing the laws of the monopoly because right now ea sports are allowed all of the rights to champions league all of the players all of the clubs and of course that would need something like league to change so that EA Sports are not in control all of it which is of course the whole monopoly and the second way is of course a new game to come out a competitor maybe something like PES or even something brand new that can actually co really compete with FIFA because PES realistically cannot compete with FIFA Ultimate Team and the third one is boycott FIFA points or even just FIFA titles in general so not buying FIFA 19 or not buying FIFA 20 in the whole so of course Kurt is of course for pro stopping FIFA points and NEP is actually approaching it in a different way to kind of stop pro events and kind of forcing EA Sports to fix the gameplay because right now EA Sports are heading towards esports and in my opinion esports is going to be a huge thing in the near future but EA Sports really needs to fix the gameplay first and with pro players of course like kind of not going to the events and complaining maybe even going to the event and actually publicly showing they're going to refuse to play then of course that would embarrass EA Sports and make sure that they are going to fix the gameplay in the future because there is of course no esports scene without the pro players and one thing of course that Kurt is doing wrong I haven't really talked about the tweets too much I'm gonna have them running around in the background but of course Kurt is kind of making irrelevant points to try and just make Nep look bad and in my opinion that is absolutely unacceptable one thing I didn't actually know is that Nepenthes nearly went to prison because he did actually have a FIFA gambling website and he had to go to court apparently everything like that so I was actually not aware of that situation but Kurt was bringing that up I do believe that was the tweet maybe that he did delete and there is loads and loads of tweets if we just look at them as an overview it's not really the main important point all of this stuff that I did just say should have explained it all and just summarized it all for you thanks to Harper High. so if you guys want to know what happened on Twitter it all actually started with Nepenthes right at the bottom here and he was actually describing Kurt and it was calling at him actually a hypocrite and passing the buck so at the top there then someone did actually call Nepenthes out saying you should at least tag Kurt and this is how it all started of course and then Kurt was continuing of course with the personal attacks there are lots of tweets of course that were actually included in this I think at least five or six definitely a lot more maybe but they would be of course going in the background of this but the main one was Nepenthes calling him hypocrite and then Kurt was actually saying that he's making money of course of children so in my opinion those were the two most of course kind of like shocking ones Kurt definitely went in and in my opinion Nepenthes didn't really deserve it I think there's going to be a lot more maybe in the next few days talking about this but I just wanted to make this video explaining and I'm not really taking any sides but I think Kurt is definitely taking it a step too far by all of these personal attacks thank you guys for watching this video I hope you guys enjoyed and I'll see you next time